Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and we're gonna be looking at another real engineering VFX breakdown. So this is gonna be pretty simple. We're looking at 2D layers with position, um, not even rotation, um, but we will have some masking to do in this video. So um, again, pretty simple, but uh, maybe you'll learn a couple things along the way. And just so you get to see a little behind the scenes of what these, these uh, project files actually look like before they become animations that you see on screen. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and just jump right into After Effects here and get started. So um, first things first is that you'll notice here is that on the left hand side, we have the minute physics animation and on the right hand side, we have the real engineering uh, animation. So I just kind of built this little factory in Illustrator and uh, with these little crates. So I'll show you the Illustrator file here. Um, it looks pretty perfect. However, um, this here we didn't actually need because it was it was only half the screen, so I didn't end up finishing that. Um, this was originally gonna come through here and then maybe come through here and fall off into a box or something. But I utilized this isometric grid that I found online and it actually made it really easy. I ended up scaling up this this shape so you can see it doesn't actually match the grid but when i first created it it did match the grid perfectly so it made it really easy to draw proportions and dimensions um, but again this is not a 3d object this is only a 2d object so when i created this this side frame the left hand side here i then had to trim these shapes to allow this little keyboard to look like it was actually sticking out so you'll you'll notice um when we jump back here all of like this shape and this shape are different than this shape. So they're se they're completely separate. They're not even um, the same shape. So it, tracking it was a little bit difficult, but uh, having this isometric view saved so much time um, in total. So in the design here, I knew that I kind of wanted a computer screen as well as some sort of information there. I was gonna put the time or something, um, but uh, yeah, pretty simple, pretty standard. It's not really complicated at all, but again, this is only a 2D object. So. Uh, now we could jump back into After Effects here and just kind of see um, what how we took that Illustrator, two-dimensional Illustrator file and make it appear like a three-dimensional um, little factory. So um, let's see here. Now we are in After Effects again, and you could see that these batteries are coming out of the out of the factory, and we have little cool little animation on screen there, as well as some arbitrary um, number there that you're not really supposed to know what it means because it doesn't really mean anything. So. Um, let's see, let's look at first at the battery. So um, down here I created a little battery in, in Illustrator. And what I did was I brought it into After Effects, I duplicated it. Um, I created a, a battery that, that was just purely white. So you can see here, um, purely white. And that way I used that to actually mask the background here because I needed this to have some transparency so we could see through the factory. So you actually see here that I did make a mistake and the grid does not follow, or the grid actually is stuck to the battery and it shouldn't be. Um, and it kind of comes up with the fact that um, I didn't make this composition move, but I did make it move here. So um, that's kind of one little mistake. Uh, and also, I mean, you can see how many layers are associated in this. I could have, I could have, I could have done this many different ways that would have been um, better, but because this wasn't something I was going to need a hundred times, I just did it the way that came to mind instantly, and I just followed through with it because it was pretty fast and it was a pretty simple animation. So um, I lined these up on a line here, um, just like that. So I kind of knew that they were fairly straight, li straight lined. Uh, so when I brought it back into here, I knew that we're all gonna follow the same line and then simply marrying it to a null object, um, I just moved the position over time. Um, since this was pre-comped, uh, simply adding a mask here, so just change the color so you could see, I just added a mask here, a shape layer mask, so the batteries were masked out uh, when they go behind that, uh, that mask. So that, that's, again, very simple. Um, if you don't know that, uh, then you're a very beginner After Effects, but you have a lot to learn and it's exciting. So um, last up here are these little screens. So I knew that I wanted some form of computer screen. I didn't really know what I wanted on it. And then I wanted some information desk um, up top. So um, for the top, I just kind of guesstimated the, the size. I think it's like 500 by 100. 
Um, and I wanted it to kind of look low resolution. So that's kind of why I stuck with, again, a lower um, 500 by 100. Uh, using my little tool here called, uh, what did I name it? Mobox number counter, I think. I just simply uh, added a point, changed the number over time, set my decimal places to four. Uh, I didn't want a comma and I added a prefix and a suffix. So RE stands for real engineering. MP stands for minute physics, so that's kind of a little Easter egg. And then 12, 1991, that's the month. I was born December 1991, so that's a little Easter egg um, that I could say that I placed in the video. So a little piece of me everywhere. Um, <laughs> so let's see. On top of here is simply a, a tool called um, TV. So it's one of these bad TVs. They all do different things, but I do delete the warp. So it just leaves the box blur, the color balance, the noise, and the Venetian blinds. Um, lastly, I just changed the color over time just to kind of give it a little bit of variety, almost like there was an issue or something. And then once we're all out of batteries, this thing then just blinks red and it stops at that, at that number. So this number can mean voltage. It could mean, um, material left. Who knows what it means? It's just, it doesn't matter really, to be honest. And then this composition is just an arrow and a box and, and X's popping up with some glow attached. Uh, to make it kind of look more like a TV screen. When I increase the resolution to full, you could see what that looks like. Um, I think in retrospect, I should have made this composition setting maybe significantly lower resolution because when you actually go into here, you could see that this looks higher resolution than, than that. So it does, it does look not perfect, but um, it's pretty close. So these were just timed up to the boxes. So I just made... Um, check box or check marks the same amount as boxes that I had. And then I went into, let's see, I think I went into, yes, I, I did a time remap to just match up the time of the check boxes and the time of the, of the batteries. So um, fairly simple, um, but overall pretty cool. Uh, one last little Easter egg I'll show you. Um, down here on this battery, it says Real Engineering Technology Corps manufactured in Mobox, California. Mobox, California does not exist and neither does Real Engineering Technologies Corp, but that's kind of a cool little thing. Uh, it literally means nothing, but I just like to see that there. Um, I guess I'll just show you this, by the way. This is a, a 3D object, but it only has three sides to it. So that way we have we maintain the um, Real Engineering look here with the see-through. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope this behind the scenes look was uh, interesting for you. It may or may not be. Let us know in the comments down below what you would like to see us do in the future of this sort of thing. Um, there are so many layers and they're all very complicated um, projects in terms of how many layers and what all the keyframes do to dig super deep into them. But I think just kind of seeing a, a technique executed works and, and it's helpful. So anyways, guys, the link to the finalized video will be in the description below as long with uh, as well as the minute physics side of the collaboration. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.